Yo, what's up, gang? It's Jeff, Stock Swinger, popping on Sunday night, getting ready for the first trading week of May 2021. Tomorrow is 5-3. We're a few hours away from market open here, pre-market function. Going to get popping off here shortly. Um, you guys, I, I want to touch on one other thing here real quick before we get going. This community tab, I'm going to pop in. I had a couple uh, questions, comments. I'm going to pop in this Ortex data for you guys. I don't know if you belong to it or not. I don't think a lot of people do. It's expensive. It's about 80 bucks a month unless you pay for it bi-yearly. I think it drops it down to like 60 bucks a month or so. So what I'll do, I pop this in here, uh, I think on Thursday. So I'll put it in here for GameStop here. I'm going to do it every morning when I get in. Uh, remember, I'm in Seattle. It'll be about 11 o'clock my time um, when I physically get in for a few hours. So I will post this uh, every morning for you guys. You can check it out under that community tab here. Also, we got a little deal going here under the uh, GME and AMC. Uh, we're going to play closest to the pin. Let's play a little game of golf here, boys and girls. Price prediction for this Friday. Leave me a comment in there what you think it's going to be. If it squeezes, either stock or no squeeze. I put in there, uh, what the heck did I put in there? Right here. No squeeze on GME. Uh, 192.56. If it squeezes, I have no idea but a lot. So there's my guess. <laughs> so anyway, we can have a little fun in there, you guys. It's pretty cool in there. So again, remember, I will post all of the um, Ortex data in there every morning for you guys freshly. If you want to pop in there, hit that community tab. It'll be posted. I'll even timestamp it. And I think it just it doesn't have the day on there. It goes back a couple, three days or whatever. So anyway, I'll put the date. I'll put the timestamp when I post it in there. And you guys can check out all that Ortex data. If you don't know what it is, it's going to show you all the short interest in here, right? That's usually you can find it on Twitter or, or anywhere else in there. But I'll take a screenshot like this and then you can look over um, all the cost to borrow and everything in there. So that is it on that front. And again, you guys, likes, comments, subscribes, love all of it. Thank you very much. Like I said, again, the only thing I'll ever ask is if you could like the videos and subscribe if you'd like to. Be super duper awesome. So let's get right into this. I'm going to talk about AMC and GameStop here. First of all, I've noticed the last couple of days here, this stuff going around, okay, the the FUD and the bots, and they're all over the place on Yahoo, Reddit, you know, everywhere, right? So let's just talk about this for a quick second here, right? Now, with this play, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been in for January, February, March. You've been in a while. You've been reading. You're watching videos like mine or anybody else out there, right? We know what's going on. In my opinion, I don't think anybody is going to say, oh, God, the, the, the thing's going to tank or the, whatever the case is. No, nothing, no wording is going to get us to sell this stock. And especially like this, I seen this is a Twitter post here. This is all over the place. They post on Reddit. Um, the other thing too, you guys, if you're not part of Reddit, get over there, upvote all the, the videos in there. Let's get everything going in the positive direction over there. And then, uh, the official AMC discord, I'll give you guys a link to that too. If you're not in there, unbelievable. It's filled with almost 30,000 AMC apes. They don't put up with no BS over there. If you start talking crap or you're a shill or you're a bot, you're launched into Orbitsville. You're not even going to the moon. You're going straight into orbit, death, gone, see you later. Adios. So now <laughs> any of you guys read this here, is this going to really get you to sell your stocks tomorrow morning or whenever the hell it is? It's over apes. We lost. We cannot outsmart the enemy the honorable thing to do now is sell all of our shares Monday. Okay, why? Right? That's just stupid. No one's going to sell over that. It's over. It's over. It's over. AMC is a dead cat. We lost the war. I'm selling all my AMC shares this Monday. Heather Foy. How many do you think she's got? This dude. Tim O'Malley. Okay, sure, sir. Chris Miller over here with no picture. AMC... It's a lost cause and will never squeeze. Apes, it's time to accept defeat. These hedge funds are a lot smarter than us. I'm selling all my shares on Monday. See a pattern here? My fellow apes, we lost. We must accept defeat. I'm so happy to read these comments and see how many, see so many of us agree that we cannot beat our enemy. They are much more intelligent than us. Oh, come on. You know, we all know this, but still, we want these guys out of here. None of these comments are going to make us sell our stock. Okay, so let's just stop the nonsense, right? So if you guys are over on Reddit, 
Start upvoting all the good stuff if you're on the AMC page, uh, the Super Stonk page, the Wall Street Bets page. Get over there, show some love, and upvote it as much as you can, okay? Um, this one, if you guys are not part of this, uh, I'm part of it. It's not on my, this here, I have it on my cell phone. But this is a Discord group, uh, AMC. It's only for AMC. It's official AMC talk. There's 29,000 or something crazy amount of stuff in there. All positivity. Great. Bunch of DD in there. It's super duper awesome. So if you guys are not part of that, get yourself over there. Fire yourself in there, right? So don't read no FUD. Screw these guys and their stupid ass comments. We're not selling. Oh, you do not sell. The squeeze is over. Dead cat. Never squeeze. What, what, what makes you say that? I mean, are we stupid? Sure, some of us are kind. I'm not the smartest fellow they make. I'll agree with that. But, my God, we're going to wake up this Monday after three months of being in this play, and whether it's GameStop or AMC. You know, this it says AMC, but it could go either way. It's the same. It's just stupid. We know this. So, yeah, flag everybody. Kick them off. Talk. Don't even talk. I don't even reply to them. But just who gives a rat's ass? It's just absolutely stupid. Okay, this here I noticed over here, quite interesting on GameStop here, $23 million worth of in-the-money puts purchased in large blocks uh, out of Chicago and Miami exchanges. But there's that there. Um, I found this interesting, too. As you can see from the data above, there were several large block trades of deep in-the-money puts, which can effectively be used in the same way we had seen the deep in the money calls used on friday there were 858 trades in blocks of the 430 expiration there 300 dollars puts for 10 10.2 million additionally there was 1058 trades of the 521 300 dollars puts 13.16 million all of these trades came out of the miami and then out of chicago exchanges these purchases are relatively in line with the size of purchases we began to see at the beginning of April. And so I will continue I will continue into monitoring early next week to see if these continue to appear in mass. It is interesting to see these exchanges pop up one of the biggest option trade lists as I had not previously seen them deep in the money calls on here. I wonder what are viable options had been res, res, resisting, sorry guys, my glasses again, every time, FTDs and any of the news of the DTC rules, DTCC rules, and causing them to resort to buying these deep in the money calls and puts. So very interesting there. I'll pop a link in there if you want to read through the comments in there. So I found that pretty interesting on the game uh, GME front. Um, this here, I've seen this too. These are some quotable. If anybody out there thinks, I've seen a lot of people, you know, Adam Aaron's, uh, you know, a hedge fund or, you know, he's one of them. He's the one percenters and, you know, he's not on our side. I, I don't believe that at all. That's just my opinion. But I think this guy is, is smarter than everybody else. I think he has set this whole thing up. He knows way more than we do. We all know that. We can all agree on that. But these are just some of his quotes from uh, Trey's video here. But let's just touch on these real quick. Let's read through these really quick and then just, you know, kind of keep your mind at ease if you're on the fence or whatever. This is my opinion. I'm not asking anybody to just, oh, I'm right. I'm not. But just listen to some of these, right? I am in this for the long haul as CEO, five to 10 more years. Okay. I am a fellow shareholder. Long term, I am a bull. This one here, I own over 3 million shares of AMC stock. Remember how much he purchased recently, too. Um, I want to continue growing the company each year moving forward. Our main goal is to increase shareholder value. Our company is under attack by short sellers. This year, I'm guaranteed that he is way more pissed off than, than we think he is. I mean, that he doesn't like that. And he's made it clear on... Kramer on social media, on Trey's channel, everywhere. We obviously know all about that, right? I haven't sold a single share in five years and don't plan to. I'm a believer in this company. And he did make it clear, I remember that, and I touched on it in one of my videos too, that he gifted some of his shares to his two sons, his twin sons, I think it was. So that don't even count. He's given his sons, you know, AMC shares. The last time we authorized 500 million shares, we didn't use any of the use any shares 32 million until 3.5 years later. We didn't use shares again 300 million until 3.5 years after that. 
each time AMC stock price rose 200 to 300 percent. Flooding the market with 500 million shares would be crazy and foolish. I don't think at one time he was ever going to do that either. If AMC shareholders authorize 500 million shares, we pledge in writing that we will not issue a single share in the calendar year of 2021. I've seen some people talk about this too and, and the fine line wording in when he put that in writing. I don't buy that either. I don't, he wasn't going to issue these either way unless something drastic happened like he did up here when he saved the company, right? I'm tired of playing defense. I want to play offense. Remember that? Well, offense is coming soon, Mr. Aaron. It's just a matter of time. We would only use shares to acquire other theater chains to instantly increase value for shareholders. Uh, they did that the other day. with uh, We did touch on the video in there, and they're fully converting those to AMC theaters, redoing the outside, the inside, the whole deal, right? Um, or to buy back debt as a significant discount to increase value or to entice landlords to accept stock now at a discount instead of waiting on cash over the course of next 24 to 36 months. If you don't vote at all, your vote will be counted as a no by default. Your own AMC, this is your company, you own AMC, this is your company. I will give you one prediction. 50 years from now, analysts will be claiming that XYZ is going to put AMC out of business. Why will AMC still be here? Because there is something magical about going to the movie theater. Watching at home just doesn't have the same impact. Okay, Going to the movie is a cheap date. The average movie ticket is about $10. Where else can you be entertained for two to three hours for 10 bucks? In 2019, the movie theater industry sold seven times the amount of tickets as NFL, all the sports combined. Okay. I think that AMC's best days are still to come. Uh, last one here. I say to those people who are betting against us, my favorite, I don't think it's a good idea to bet against movie theaters. It's certainly not a good bet against AMC. And I'd like to think it's not a good idea to bet against old double A either. No, it's not, sir. So that's just my opinion on these. These are great points. Could some of this be a little bit fluffy and uh, make everybody? Sure, but I don't buy it. I think uh, Mr. Aaron knows a little bit more than we do, and he's sick of the games, and he's about to play some serious offense, boys and girls. Serious offense. So we'll pop that into there. Another great one over here. Frank Nez, we did a little touch up on him the other day on his outstanding piece here. He's got his own website. How do hedge funds manipulate the stock market? This was posted a few days ago. This is a different article than the one I popped in there. Give this guy a read, you guys. Subscribe over here. I think you can get notifications when he publishes it. Not going to read through this, but another great piece here. So let's pop that into the thread as well. You guys can take a look through that. One thing, my favorite, my second favorite comedian of all time, Mr. George Carlin. I'm going to play this little piece here. If this, this is not directly about the stock market, but just listen to this. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this here. He did this special. This was his, I think, one of his last HBO specials before he died. I think he passed away in 2008. Uh, heart attack or heart failure, whatever he had. I can't remember. But just take a listen to this. And if the, this doesn't fire you up, and then I got one other piece that's going to. Frickin' outstanding. That was 16, 17 years ago. George Carlin nailing it on the head. But if that ain't enough to get you fired up, if that's not enough to just say, screw you, hedge funds, I don't know what is. I've had a butt full of it, boys and girls, and we're about to get paid off, okay? This one, I'm going to leave you with this, okay, you guys? Thanks again. Likes, comments, and subscribes. Only thing I ever ask from you guys, you know this, is like and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with this. Let's get fired up. Let's uh, get some rest here this evening. I'm going to plan on probably staying up till a little bit of pre-market, get some sleep and get up. But love you guys. Thanks for everything. Let's rock and roll. It's almost game time. This is going to get you fired up, too. Let's go. Let's go. Meme stocks turned over. GameStop is the poster child. It got cut almost in half today. Take a look at it now. Since the highs on Thursday, GameStop stock has lost 81% of its value. Shares have plummeted even faster than they rallied. AMC is eight times levered. 
they will never generate meaningful free cash flow. There is no value to equity holders. People can buy it because they're excited about going back to theaters, but there is no value to this company. And ultimately, that's what's going to matter is they can't pay off their debt ever. People are sitting at home getting the checks from the government, okay? And this fair share is a bullshit concept. It's just a way of attacking wealthy people. And, you know, I think it's inappropriate. We're all going to work together and pull together. The end result is attendance levels are just never going to be. And so that 770 million of EBITDA is never going to be achievable again. And even if it was, they can't pay off their debt. But if they can't get close to that level, this thing literally is worth it, you know, can't cover its debt, let alone have any value for equity holders. And that's really why we put the penny stock target on there for 12 months. First of all, all of this nonsense, all of this noise, all of this whining by Wall Street, it's making me sick. We all make impacts. You never know when you're making an impact on somebody. Don't forget that. Have our confidence in the due diligence that we've done. Have confidence in the numbers. Have confidence in the technical setup. Have confidence in the fact that we can do this together as people. Like the stock. We like the stock. As for me, I like the stock. I'm as bullish as I've ever been on a potential turnaround for GameStop. What's the answer? When this squeezes, it'll be more violent than we ever imagined. When those shorts have to cover their positions, it is going to be the stupidest, most violent, nasty, disgusting, vile squeeze that has probably ever existed. I have to say, it is impressive, and I congratulate them for doing what they've done. The actual brand itself has way more value today than it had five months ago before it became in every, um, you know, became part of every headline around the world day after day. I, I don't know what the outcome will be, but if I was short that stock right now, I'd be worried. And I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. And, All right. I, I, think it's, I think it's going to get a second um, kick at life. I think there's some very smart people probably see what I see in the IP being worth something.